PCVD, or Plasma Enhanced Chemical Vapor Deposition System, reacts gases in a RF or radio frequency induced plasma to deposit materials such as silicon dioxide and silicon nitride. This PCVD has two chambers. One is intended for silicon nitride depositions and has 2% styline in nitrogen, ammonia, nitrogen, and 10% tetrafluoromethane in oxygen connected to it. The other chamber is intended primarily for silicon dioxide depositions and is connected to 2% silane in nitrogen, nitrous oxide, ammonia, and 10% tetrafluoromethane in oxygen, which is used for cleaning the chamber. The plasma therm PECVD can process a wide range of sample sizes. The number of samples depends on the size of the samples. A typical run can process anywhere from 1 to 4 4 inch wafers. Typical deposition rates range from 100 to 400 angstroms per second. Typical processes include silicon dioxide depositions, silicon nitride depositions, and silicon oxynitride depositions. Now, let's introduce our lab users. We will now go over the various parts of the plasma therm PECVD. Here we have the monitor and keyboard. Here we have the two chambers. Here we have the emergency off button. First, log into the machine. Press the on button at the bottom of the screen. Highlight utilities, then highlight select active chamber, and choose the appropriate chamber. Press the standby button at the bottom of the screen. Highlight utilities, then choose vent. Once you hear a nitrogen escaping from the chamber, raise the chamber door. If the nitrogen does not turn off automatically, highlight utilities and choose closed gates. Load your sample into the center of the chamber. Please do not touch the sample holder. The area is very hot. Highlight process, then choose load recipe. Choose the recipe you want to run. Then click OK. Press the ready button at the bottom of the screen. After ready parameters have been applied, Press the run button at the bottom of the screen. Choose the time you want your process to run in. Then click run. Please do not try to open the chamber door while the system is running. After the process is over, highlight utilities, then choose vent. Once you hear a nitrogen escaping from the chamber, raise the chamber door. If the nitrogen does not turn off automatically, highlight utilities and choose close gates. Unload the sample from the chamber, then close the chamber door. Highlight utilities and choose pump chamber. After the chamber has been pumped down, highlight utilities and then log out. We will build a recipe for a standard silicon nitride deposition. From the process menu, choose build to create a new recipe or edit to edit an existing one. A list of the recipe steps will be displayed on the right side of the screen. In general, your recipe should have four steps, an initial step, two process steps, and an end step. The initial step evacuates the chamber, removing the air inside, and brings the chamber to the process temperature. All recipes will start with an initial step. This step will evacuate the chamber and bring the chamber to the desired operating temperature. Set the pressure to 40 millitor and set the time to 30 seconds. This will cause the system to evacuate as much air from the chamber as possible 
before starting the process. Do not attempt to use pressure set points below 40 millitor. The chamber will be evacuated as much as possible regardless of the set point. Set the temperature to your desired process temperature. Note that the temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. You may describe your recipe in the description box. The first few words will be displayed by the file name when you are loading your recipe. Then click OK. To create a new step, select the step that will go before the new step and click the appropriate button for the type of step you want at the bottom of the screen. You will usually want two process steps. They should be identical with a few exceptions. The first process step is a gas purge step and it also sets the chamber pressure. It allows the chamber pressure and gas flows time to stabilize. Because the RF is off, no processing will actually take place during this step. The process step dialog box has four major areas, time, pressure, gas flow, and power. The first process step's terminate by time should be set to fixed time. This step will be used to stabilize the chamber conditions. Since there is no turbo pump for the system, you will need to use the mechanical pump for all pump down steps. To edit a step, double click on it. Set the gas flow rate for each gas here. The flow rates are given in SECMs, standard cubic centimeters per minute. The process pressure is measured in millitor. Leave the power set to zero in the first step. The system is optimized to run silicon dioxide and silicon nitride depositions at 900 millitor. Then click OK. The second step will actually perform your process. If you set a terminate by time to variable time, you will be prompted for the process time each time you run your recipe. This is usually more convenient than editing the recipe each time. However, you can set the process to fixed time and set the time here if you prefer. The flow rate should be the same for both process steps. Set it to the power you want for your process in the second step. For nitride and oxide depositions, please do not exceed 30 watts. For all other processes, please do not exceed 300 watts. Then click OK. All recipes have an end step that evacuates the chamber. Set the pressure to 40 millitor and set the time to 60 seconds. The automatic vent feature does not work properly and should not be used. Choose a recipe name and save the process. When you modify a process, you only change the copy on the disk. If the process is already loaded, you will need to reload it for your changes to be reflected. Please do not restart the computer. After watching this training video, you should know how to load a sample, run a recipe, unload a sample, and program a recipe. If you have any questions, please direct them to the trainer of this equipment. Please do not ask Charlie.